hello. Uh, well, if you're hearing this, chances are everyone's being super ungrateful about the FNAF movie teaser, and they don't like the red eyes because they're all crybabies. I mean, it's just the color of eyes. Is it really such a bad thing? I, I don't know, maybe it's just me? Uh, either way, you've probably got work to do or something. I, I don't really know how to help you with that, so, uh, good luck with that. It's been officially almost two weeks since the FNAF movie teaser was released, and since then, there's been so much more the FNAF community has gotten. We've got the trailer for Ruin, we got a teaser for Help Wanted 2, we got a cookbook, plushies, more plushies, Matthew Lillard interview, am, am I dreaming? The answer is no, thank god. And still, with all of these new releases, the absolute hype that the FNAF movie teaser bought also bought a lot of people complaining. You probably know what I'm talking about about the red eyes. It's literally all that's been talked about on TikTok for like the past few weeks. Now don't get me wrong, the eyes, like they don't turn red in the first game, I get that, but if you also look here, here, oh wait, here, and what do you see? Red eyes in the games and the books. But even with all the proof that it's not going to just be a tacky thing added to make them look scarier or something, people on TikTok keep pushing the fact that they should just remove the eyes altogether, replace them with the black black eyes and the white dots, with people posting things like, we did it once to Sonic, why can't we do it again? But there's just something that you don't understand, alright? For one, that would just delay the movie that has been in the works for eight years, almost. And something else, let me just, okay, let me just show you something. So you see Sonic, okay? This is the original model. Now everyone hated this model, so they changed it, and now this is the model of Sonic after the internet bullied the studio into changing. Now this was a good change, okay, and a pretty drastic one. It was like the first one was just the worst model ever, so it makes sense why they changed it. And that took like three months or so to change, which is still a long time. Now that we've seen that, let me bring your attention over to the Five Nights at Freddy's animatronics in the teaser. So you see Freddy here, okay, there's something different Different between him and Sonic. He's not a 3D model that you can just replace. It's literally a real life animatronic. To change the red eyes they would have to reshoot every scene with the animatronics in them, which would cost Blumhouse like double what they had already spent shooting it. They'd have to remodel the entire face of all the animatronics, which is a little bit tedious just because a few people didn't like the look of the red eyes. And considering it's a bit different to the 3D model of Sonic, this would most likely take at least a half a year or a year at most to do. And this was only the teaser, right? The animatronics won't have the red eyes throughout the entire movie. That's it, it irritates me that people can be so quick to jump to conclusions and hate on something when all we've seen is like five seconds in total. <laughs> and I have a feeling that it's not exactly doing great things to Scott's mental health, like everyone complaining about something that he's worked on for a long time. And talking about Scott, for years Matt Pat has been saying that Scott always adds things for a reason. So I feel like Scott has added the eyes for a reason. In the novels and Help Wanted, the red eyes usually mean that the animatronics are in attack mode, which the teaser, it, you know, it looks like they're doing that, you know? attacking. Either way, I know that I'm very excited for this movie to be a thing. I've literally been playing and loving Five Nights at Freddy's since FNAF 2 came out. I can literally remember coming home from school, going to my cousin's house and playing it for the first time on his little iPhone and that was that was literally when I was 11 years old and now I'm 19 which is it's crazy but that just goes to show how long I've been waiting for this movie to be a thing. But I mean what are your guys thoughts? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.